So uh, every year at uh, MD Anderson, our residents uh, and fellows uh, participate in a uh, minimally invasive surgery course. And I help coordinate that on the, on the head, neck, and otolaryngology side. What they see when they're using the digital Accublade is beautiful, not because of what the surgeon's doing, but because the surgeon with the right tool that's precise enough unveils the beauty basically of human anatomy. And there's nothing better to see that on than the vocal cords. And so when that resident or fellow is sitting at, uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the microscope with me, watching me do the case, they can probably for the first time in their career um, actually see um, the interface between the most superficial aspects of the mucosa, the deep aspects of lamina propria, then the vocal ligament and the underlying muscular layers associated with, with the vocal cord. With older technologies, with just straight shot line of sight, uh, unfocused, uh, unmodulated, uh, unscanned um, laser beams, it's hard to show that. And the reason why is you literally cannot interact with the tissues in a precise enough way. So um, by dialing in the right size, uh, you make a very precise cut into the mucosa surrounding the vocal cord itself. And when you peel those layers back, this, this, my, my students, my, my, my residents and, and fellows who work with me, see anatomy like they've read in a textbook, but they're seeing it live. And that, that hooks, I think, uh, a whole new generation of residents and, and fellows and, and future surgeons um, on, on understanding the benefits of endoscopic transdermal laser microsurgery. I do teach residents to use the CO2 laser at our university. Um, I think that the uh, ability to use video guidance uh, with the operative microscope and the advent of uh, or the addition of HD camera systems has allowed me to watch and observe uh, their use of uh, whatever technology we're using, whether cold instrument or laser technology. Uh, to uh, within the, uh, uh, the larynx um, and with a very high degree of certainty feel comfortable that I know uh, exactly what they're doing. Um, I think they enjoy using uh, the laser. I think that um, they gain an experience with a number of different wavelengths of laser, which is helpful, as well as how different lasers work uh, in, in, in different tissue settings. The CO2 laser, um, I don't think, is the most difficult technology for them to, uh, for residents to learn while uh, performing laryngeal surgery. I think that uh, one of the hardest parts is pairing the binocular vision of the microscope to their hand actions. That can be challenging with a CO2 laser as it can be with cold instrumentation. As they get more familiar with it, uh, they get better and better at it. Um, the CO2 laser allows them to cut and to manipulate tissue or ablate tissue with fewer instruments within their field. Um, and this allows them to keep a wider field of view and allows them to do more things um, than, uh, than they would with cold instrumentation, for example, and multiple instruments down a laryngoscope, which I think can be more challenging at times. Um, I do think that uh, the digital Accublade system has made it easier to automate uh, the uh, procedure for them and to have simplified settings uh, for the residents to prepare the laser and use the laser on different tissues. Um, when I teach residents, I teach them to use the laser in a pulsed manner. We explain to the residents on a regular basis how the CO2 laser interacts with tissue the effects of pulsing the laser so that you allow thermal relaxation or tissue cooling between successive laser impacts to reduce the amount of thermal damage. I like to teach residents to use the digital Accublade with the CO2 laser because that allows us to generate very precise patterns which we've shown through laboratory studies the digital Accublade has been shown to improve the accuracy of our laser delivery both in terms of depth and surrounding thermal injury. Uh, regarding the teaching of the residents, I must say that the Accublate is, very, is a very nice tool for that because uh, they can show me before what they intend to cut or what they intend to ablate. I see the beam, the aiming beam running on the surface or along the incision line, so I can say, okay, go ahead. And uh, of course, when they are beginners, I prefer them to 
to work in single pulse mode or in repeat mode because if they do a mistake of 0.1 second it's only a mistake of 0.1 second if when it, is, when it is repeat mode they can stop at any time when they feel more confident if it is a big lesion then they can go in continuous mode so uh, the digital accumulating with this regard is very practical because you can see exactly what they will do and when they will do it